Okay, here's the beast. This is my Athlon 2 gigahertz or whatever PC. It's got 2 gig of RAM and it was overheating when I was rendering. I put in a little uh, piece of software to monitor the temperature and it was going above 70 and then crashing. So I determined that heating was the problem to begin with by going into the BIOS and putting the alarm on so that it, the hardware would alarm when the temperature got too much. What I did was I removed that fan heatsink combination and I cleaned it out and you may not be able to see but you can get a lot of dust in there caked onto those fins that you can't obviously see from the outside so it's good to dismantle it and brush it all out. So I brushed it all out, I didn't wet it because I thought the moisture might get trapped in it between the fins. So then I put it all back together again, put some silver uh, thermal paste on top of the chip uh, and then I tried it with a fan off and it was still overheating but it wasn't crashing, it was better. What I noticed though, this was the cover, that the fan, get to it here, this was where the fan was, now this was where the vent was. So we had a vent there with this black cone of plastic. And I noticed that was not over the top, it was offset from the actual heat sink and fan. So I drilled a big hole here, you can see it's all a bit jagged, tried to smooth it off a bit. So I made a big hole there with a drill and a pair of pliers, filed down the edges because it gets bloody sharp some rubber solution on as well to try to ease the edges a bit. But the other thing I did was I noticed that the black cone didn't go very far down. So I got this yogurt carton and I cut it up and I stuck that at the end of the cone so that it now goes right the way down onto the top of the fan. So Put it back together. During the drilling, it created a lot of swarf, what it's called, lots of bits of metal, so it's a good idea to do it away from everything else and clean up the case afterwards. Okay, so now it fits back together like that. We have this bloody great hole now, which you can see goes right down to the fan. So what I need to do is get a bit of mesh to put over the top there to stop stuff falling in. But I ran it up. It now runs at a lower temperature between 35 and 42 a lot of the time. That's if it's idling. And if I if I run a render, it goes up to about 51 tops so far. And the ambient temperature in here is probably about. 2021 20, at the moment. So I'm quite pleased with that. But the real point was that when I was rendering, I was looking, getting various errors. And I was looking on the web, and opinion was all over the place. Nobody seemed to have a good fix. And I dismissed overheating to start with because I thought, well, when they design these things, they must know what the operating temperature is going to be. But I think overheating could be a, a real cause of problems when you're thrashing the processor. And you can do a bit of a bodge job and fix it all up. There you go. Okay, so now we need a bit of mesh to go over this hole that goes into the fan. Obvious thing. Giant tea strainer. He's thrown out with the handle detached. This is a cord of wire. I've had since I was about 18. There you go. End result. A mesh. Should do it.